Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I'd come on here today and share with you a few things that I've recently picked up, a few notebooks, a few fountain pens. And the first one I'll share is this Nemesine. I think that's how you say that notebook. It's an A6 size. And I've always been curious about these. And so I went ahead and picked one up. I think I picked this up from... Mm, I cannot remember where I got it. But this is 80 sheets and it's 80 grams. Um, yeah, made in Japan. These covers, the, the cover and the front cover and back cover is like a hard plastic. And it looks like really nice smooth paper. So I'm, I'm looking forward to trying that. It's, um, I'm trying to see if it's, per yeah, it is perforated. So I got that, and then I also picked up this Rhodia notebook. This is an 8x8 eight eight size. I know I love Rhodia paper, um, but I don't have a notebook this size. I think it's 8x8. Eight eight. Um, yeah, 8x8. Eight eight. And it's the dot grid, and it's spar bound. It also is perforated. So those are the two notebooks I picked up. I also picked up some fountain pens. And I want to start with my favorite one. This is a Pen BBS, and this is the 456 model. And I've got several BBS pens, and this is by far my favorite. This is by far the the most or the best. How should I say it? It's it's made better than the others. Um, this is a vac fill, which is my first, this is my first vac fill pen, and I am just tickled to death with this. I picked this up off of eBay, and the rest of my pen BBS pens cost around, you know, they're around the 20, just, just over $20 mark. This was a, this was around like $47, but it is worth every penny. Let me show you the nib. It's got like the two-tone nib. This is a fine, but it really writes like a medium. Um, but yeah, I'm just tickled to death with this pen. And again, it's, it's back fill, um, which I'm enjoying. And I don't know what they call this color. It's like a blue swirl. It's got like a royal blue, a light blue, and clear. And I've got this inked with um, Monte Verde DC Super Show Blue. And I'll do a writing sample with this. Um, at the end. I also picked up this little pen. This I picked up off of eBay as well. I'm a huge fan of Schaefer pens, and this is a vintage Schaefer, very inexpensive um, pen from the 1970s. It was a new old stock. It's got a, a couple little nicks on it, but I love, now when I first got it, I thought there's just no way um, it's so light it feels really cheap let's just be honest it really does but it writes like a dream it's just got a very basic Schaefer nib on there and I just have a black cartridge but I'm telling you this thing writes so smooth I'm not surprised I love Schaefer's I really do but when I first got this and, and I first held it, I thought, hmm, this may be the first one I, I don't like. And you know, it doesn't look like much, but it really does write great. And I love it. I think I paid, I think it was like $13 shipping and, and all. So, and I love the color too. Anyway, so that's the, and it's called the, what is it called? The Schaefer No Nonsense, I believe. Yeah, no nonsense. So, I love that one, too. Um, let's see. Oh, I, I showed you guys this um, last week or the week before. I picked this up from Truffet. This is a Hong Dian. Um, what is the model? 50, 5019. And this is in the color April Showers. I'm going to do a writing sample with this for you, too. This is a fine nib. No, extra fine. It only comes in extra fine. And, um, but it writes more like, um, fine, I think. To me, it does. And so, I got this. I fell in love with it. 
I don't think I mentioned when I when I first unboxed it. It does come with a converter. Um, I have this inked up with KWZ Azure number five, and this this is a great pen. It, it's all metal. It's kind of got a coated finish here here, but it's all metal. It's got some weight to it, and. I really like this pen. I like it so much, I went back and picked it up in the May, Mayflowers. So let me show you that one. Here's the green, it's a two-tone green. And like I said, they both they only come in extra fine nibs. So um, I have this one inked up with Robert Oster Eucalyptus Leaf. Yeah. So I just, I can't say enough about these little pins. And I think they were like around $20, $21. And these are the two colors Truffet had. So April showers and May flowers. So I'll do a writing sample with those. And I think that's it. A couple of people though had asked me to do a writing sample with my Prera that I, that I recently picked up. I have it inked with Noodler's Cactus Fruit. So I will do that. I'll do a writing sample with that while I'm at it. And I think I'll just try out, since I know I love the rhodia paper, I think I'll try out this um, Nemesine notebook to do the writing sample with. Um, okay, so let's try out my favorite, this Pen BBS 456. Again, this is inked with DC Super, Monteverde DC Super Show Blue. So this is the... BBS 456 and this is in a fine it really writes like um almost like a medium Love, love, love this pen. And this comes in a lot of different colors. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with that one. It writes so smooth. Next, we'll, we'll do this um, Schaefer No Nonsense. It's just inked with a, just a black cartridge. So this is, and this is supposed to be a, is this a fine nib or medium? No, this is a medium nib. Right. It too writes so smooth. I wouldn't have bought this, but I'm just, I love Schaefer pens and I don't really have any vintage ones. I really, I want, I'm on the lookout for a nice vintage Schaefer pen, but when I saw it was only $13, I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna pick that up. Um, now we will try out the Hong Dian. I want you to see how it writes since it's an extra fine. So this is a Hong Dian 5019. Extra fine, and this is Robert Oster. Eucalyptus leaf. Okay, I'll go ahead and do this one too, so at least you can see the how it writes in this KWZ um, Azure, because it's darker. that leans more fine almost to a medium 
All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a writing sample in this uh, Pilot Prera with the cactus fruit. And this is a, what, let me see what size nib this is. I think this is a fine, no, this is a medium nib. I thought it was a fine. I'm loving this cactus fruit ink. that all right guys thank you so much that's all i have thank you for watching till next time bye guys